Yeah, my name is Madi Chobate. I'm a human rights defender. Yeah. I was born in a very small village, about 300 kilometers from Banjul, which is the capital of the Gambia. The Gambia is the smallest country on mainland Africa. It's got about two million people. A uh, majority of the people cannot read and write. People are still poor. We've been under dictatorship for the past 22 years, and during which period, um, gross human rights violations were committed, um, such as torture, rape, enforced disappearances, summary executions. Hundreds, uh, thousands of Gambians were subjected to all forms of uh, repression. The idea of human rights was in great in the Gambia, like not many people fully understand human rights. So we, we bring religious leaders, traditional leaders, to talk about women's rights or child rights. If you love your daughter, why don't you want your daughter to have education? You know, to have a loving husband, to have respect in the society. Don't you want your daughter to become a successful businesswoman? We raise these things so that people begin to realize at the end of the day, everything is about the individual, about us. When you do those kind of things also, the government doesn't like that. And you know, when the people are empowered, one, the people can vote them out. Or number two, the people can even rise up to protest. And those in power, they don't want anything to threaten their power. As a human rights defender, I've undergone some threats. Sometimes you really feel scared because at the end of the day, I'm like, okay, I have kids, young kids. It's a reality that you can be arrested, you can be killed. Now, who takes care of your kids? My very nature is such that, I, you know, I just can't, I just can't, couldn't keep quiet. Yeah, because, you know, I, I just, just can't, can't help it. I mean, I have to speak up against injustice. The whole idea of the shelter city is they invite around the world human rights defenders who are facing some tough situations at home, who live in difficult environments, who are under threat. So I made arrangements and I came. Yeah, I got an apartment. You know, I like running in so much. Um, I like the waterways. There is this kind of staircase and, um, you know, you, you can go up the staircase and face this big square, people moving across it and on bike and, you know, around it, rest restaurants. And uh, I just like to go there and think. I, I was supposed to stay for three months, but I ended up staying for one year or one and a half years, uh, simply because of uh, events back home it wouldn't be safe for me to go back. The whole thing became a blessing since I'd go to college and uh, do a degree course on human rights. And uh, I'm gonna finish in August, in a month's time, and go back home. The new president came to the Gambia, and so we are now in a situation where probably for the first time, we are struggling to build a true democracy in the Gambia, you know, after so long, you know, since independence. What needs to happen is that government needs to be seen to expand that. It is not just enough for us to remove the dictator. How do you further expand that, make it deep and grow stronger? I, I think my kids, I have, you know, six daughters and one, one boy. So I told them when I come, I want a huge kiss and a big hug from each of them.